Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today, that's right, we're going to be looking at the Kroger ad. My very scientifically written and scripted um, findings of of what the, the, the deeper meaning behind this Kroger ad is. Um, the lower than low deals. This has been uh, a sort of counterpart. This is the Sonic the Hedgehog to the Grubhub ads Mario. Um, although pe people are kind of torn between whether or not the Kroger ad is better than the Grubhub delivery dance or not, because the animation is a bit more stylized and unique. They look almost kind of like toys, a little bit like Playmobil almost which in one way makes them a bit more interesting in in 3D because they don't look as much like Illumination characters. It's using that song Apple Bottom Jeans in the ad, but not the Apple Bottom Jeans part or the boots with the fur part or everybody in the club looking at her part or the part that relates to butts. No, 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 no. It just uses the low, low, low part. More commercials should involve the song Apple Bottom Jeans, especially using the low, low, low part for low, low, low prices. That's genius. But also, ow. It, it hurts me and crushes my soul inside while also giving me new life. It, this Kroger ad is like a phoenix. And if you're wondering if I'm doing this just because it's a meme at the moment, yes, but also because I like it which is also very important, because I'm not going to just jump on any trend unless I like it. And third, I since this channel's beginning, I have always reviewed commercials in a way like this. This is not new for me. I have always done stuff like this. This is just par for the course. That shopping cart looks like it's a toy, and I love it. This looks like a whole little toy shopping Kroger. It's like you could buy toys of this Kroger supermarket, and it looks really cute. I would be okay with buying a, a toy set of this. Uh, I'm not against the idea of that. That's the meat department in the background. They have three hams all next to each other and uh, a delicious looking turkey. Plastic, but delicious. So he's looking around. He's leaning to the side. He's he's in here wearing his socks and Crocs or socks and sandals. Uh, possibly. We don't know. He has a couple of things in his cart at the moment. So he's wobbling back and forth while he's just he's doing his thing. Phone. There's a thing on the top. And then a button on the side, and then other buttons on the side. I know the volume button, and the power button. What's the other button? I don't know. Hmm, look at that clip art of a chicken. He's not actually using any savings, by the way. He's just he's just using clip art of a, of a, of a piece of chicken. That's what it, is, uh, it just says, chicken. Um, the savings word above is just because he, that's the website that his, he gets his clip art from. It's the website called Savings, Savings Clip Art. Um, that's not a thing that exists, but it could be if you buy the domain. Mm, gotta love that. He, he doesn't even need to press and hold copy and paste, uh, to, to copy over the thing. He, it's just royalty-free clip art that he's, he's able to get from the Savings website. And again, just in case, this is not actually royalty-free. If you use this in something like that, that's probably not royalty-free. I was making a joke that he's not actually getting a, a generic chicken coupon from Kroger's, but it is instead just copying clip, clip art in the, uh, the, the Kroger supermarket and is now going to dance about it because this guy just loves his clip art. There we go. I, I said something in red. I'm not sure what that was. Um... Let's let's check that out. So he clips it. Clipped. Okay, it's, it says clipped. That goes by so fast, but they added in that extra little detail. That's nice. Salad mix? Like Chex Mix? But for salad. Of salad. Unless it's... If it's multiple ingredients already, then it's already a salad. A mixed salad? Salad mix? Is it a salad with mixed stuff in it? Or do you use that to put in with a salad? Is that like leaves with dressing on it and then you can add in your own things for it? What is a salad mix that makes it different from a pre-made salad? Or just greens or lettuce or something? Well, he clearly didn't want that, so he, he's not doing anything. We have um, the characters on the left and right. They look a little bit like Rankin-Bass characters almost. I can kind of see that. I can kind of see them being from something out of Rankin-Bass there. Left and right. I do like that it looks like toys. This is, this is, this is, this, the ad looks rather charming. I, I kind of like this. Um, so they're talking, those guys back there 
getting the bread, that will be important later. So all of these characters, this this is the setup for us to um, see the rest of the characters in this Kroger cinematic ad universe. Um, it, I don't think it will end up being as in-depth as the Grubhub cinematic universe, but it is still important to, to make notice of. And again, this actually looks all like toys. This whole supermarket looks like it's made of plastic, and it's rather cute. It's pretty cute, honestly. So... He finally shows his face and rotates around. He he must l extend his legs in order to get low, as the kids say. He's holding up his phone to show the world that he 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 copied an, a, a PNG of clip art of a clip art turkey. Excuse me, a chicken. Um, he has a beard and is bald, and now he's wobbling. This guy just he doesn't care about anything else. He just does what he loves. This is what he wants to do. He has, he has it in him, this is something he wants to do, and he is doing it. He has no shame. So they're talking next to bread. Very good. He has a pattern on his jacket. Does not look bad. Um, same as on hers, there's, uh, there is a, a texture pattern on the clothing, which is pretty nice. The hair is not as textured, though. The hair is stylized. And the, the, the detail on their... Outfits don't really fit fit this like it does in the Grubhub universe. Feels a little bit strange. Uh, and there's the pile of bread that's sitting out and everything. So you get to in, in, get those from the fresh uh, bread center. Very nice. It looks very nice. Now I want bread, which is probably what they wanted. Um, so she's just like, uh, "What are you, what are you looking at?" And he's he's smiling at the moment because he like he see he likes what he sees. And now he's confused about what he sees, and she's tired, she's very sleepy, she, she's just like, ah, oh, you see something else again. And he, he, he's, he's very confused, he's never seen uh, a, a socks and crocs guy hold up an image of clip art on his phone, and then suddenly play the song in the background, um, Apple Bottom Jeans. And she's just, she's, it doesn't, it doesn't face her or him? Whatever this character, them. It doesn't phase character on the right, but character on the left is is very confused about this. Uh, also, the shirt looks sort of like a magic bottle from The Legend of Zelda. It looks sort of like one of those potion bottles, like the, the, the maximum restoring ones. It looks kind of like that, which is just, just a little bonus tidbit in there. Now, she has to turn her face because this is... Oh, they are Crocs. They are actually Crocs. He is Socks and Crocs McDude. Oh my gosh. He looks almost like a he could be a pirate if you took off the jacket and you just have that shirt and you put on like a bandana. He looks almost like the croc pirate. <laughs> um so here he is. He's he's raising it up. He he's he's just like, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Clip art in a Kroger's. Mm. And uh, rightfully so that other other person looked over because it is worth looking over to see this. I, how many people would see this and just wonder what's going on? Kroger obviously in, in, endorses this uh, by their ad. Look, when he, he moves his legs, um, his jacket flaps. He, he Much like Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. McBoogeyman from the Grubhub commercials, uh, he is also doing uh, an, another, another pose to chant to the ancients. Uh, there he goes. He's getting even lower. This this guy is very talented at getting low, honestly. Without even without even going, uh, like, uh, like sitting down or anything like that to to normally get low. No, he is he is getting low by grooving out by still staying on his feet. That is a talent. This this is a talented man. They are impressed by his talents, but also confused. They don't understand what's going on. He has a pineapple phone that is awesome. I love that. That's that's cute. <laughs> I love that. Also, I guess he's married or is just wearing a ring. We may never, we may never fully know. Oh, now, now this person is shocked and terrified of what's happening right now. The the realization is starting to set in. And he's looking down at his phone, hopefully, maybe to ignore the evils uh, of the socks and Crocs combo. Fuel restrictions apply is now on his uh, tattoo. His tattoo of the words "fool." Fuel restrictions apply is slowly peeling off due to the pain of seeing um, the man dance to clip art in the Kroger's uh, while getting low. But 
he, he went over there, and since he sees the picture of a chicken, he wants something different. So now he's going to check out that salad mix, which came up next. Co- conveniently, he also does not want chicken, nor does he want bread, despite being next to the bread section. That's just their place that they, they talk together. Ooh, an orange. I wonder if the next person to order will end up getting the orange. You may never know. Look, he's going to tap. Oh, no, he wanted the orange. Oh, my goodness. We, who would have thunk it? <laughs> who would have it that he would also want the orange? And now he wants two times the fuel points. That's why it says fuel restrictions apply. I see. And now he's just like, whoa, I've fallen into the temptation that the man did back there. And then the other person is, is scared for his soul and very concerned. But now he's been possessed by the um, the Kroger app. Uh, excuse me, not the Kroger app. The clip art website. Uh, oh, look at this guy. He's just bending. This guy's back. He's a legend. He's an absolute mad lad. No wonder he's he's dancing. He just wanted this as an excuse to dance. He doesn't even care that he's clipping out a turkey image. He just wanted to dance and show off his moves in the middle. Look, he's waving his arms around. He can even do that. Just wibble wobbling as he gets even even lower. That's truly Shorty getting low. And now this crowd of people are just cheering him on from the sidelines. Oranges, low price. Lemons, low price. Nothing else is low price, but a lot of stuff that's around there. Okay, it looks like each of those batches of the fruit, like the two eggplants and the two oranges, were copy and pasted. Um, but since they're from a different angle, they look a little bit different. But that's how they saved uh, money. They made one set of those and then just copied it over. Because it looks like it's almost identical, but just from a slightly different angle. Which is a clever way to save space, uh, or to, to, to make it. So it, it, it feels like this one was made more, um, a bit more crudely, because they had a bit less of an animation budget. But that, that was interesting. I like the way that they, um, they, they worked around this to make it look pretty charming. This is charming. I like these, these characters here. That character on the right is that character from Infinity Train, uh, the girl. That's her. She's she shops at Kroger. Who would have who'd have thunk it? She she was a she's a Kroger. Look at him bop. And now he's like, yeah, you get it, you get it. Picking up random fruit. Yeah, you, you're 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 on it. You know what I'm. You know you got. You're picking up what I'm putting down. You're getting low. You're getting low. I'm gonna turn around and not look at you because you're not using the app. And but you, hey you, you were over there using the app. Yep, there they go. The two elderly uh, el- elderlies, they're using their phone. Look at all those copy and pastes in the background. They, they copy and pasted more of those rutabagas or, or beets. Yeah, they're beets. So they have two sections for beets that are on different parts of the store. Um, same with more of those round circular objects on the upper left. Look at them dance. Look at them dance. Now, now they're getting low. Now the elderly are getting low. Look at what you've done. And now they're ordering gas fuel restrictions. She, uh, lady on the right is just focused on the app, whereas lady on the left just wants to fit in. She's just like, hey, am I doing it right? Am I doing this right? And then lady on the right is just, she's just doing it. She is just getting in on it. That lady on the left, I like to imagine that her knees work sort of like a car jack, and she's not actually bending down. That she's just sinking slower into the ground. Oh, I, that guy looks like he's somebody from somewhere. I've seen whatever that guy looks like. I know I've seen him from something somewhere before. Uh, some guy looks like him, and I don't know what. This looks like a stylized version of whatever that other character is. <laughs> Free pickup location. Wow. And now he has another phone and a really nice jacket. Very cool. There's a woman putting a dead body into the trunk of her car on the left. Always nice to see. There we go. Oh, he's shocked. He's terrified to see what's happening right now. And the woman is just scared that there might be witnesses. Oh, now he's holding a, um, that, that looks like a, uh, it might be a small pumpkin, uh, a green pumpkin, maybe? Or I like to imagine it as a large cluster of germs that are just on his hand. Um, that woman is holding up a banana, he's holding up a baseball. That there's now a Kroger store employee who's getting in on it. And then another woman... Those other people who are on the side to the right behind the fruit display, they've just been vaporized. They're gone. They've exploded after getting too crunk, uh, getting too funky with their with their Krogering, um, dancing to the to to the the shorty get low. Look, look at look look at all these shorties getting even lower and lower. Look how far they go. Look, she's sinking into the ground into just a, a puff. She's like a marshmallow. The woman on the left just melting into her outfit. 
Now that uh, that that Kroger lady employee is very happy about the job that she did shoving the dead body into her car. She's about to leave later. She closes the trunk while he's getting funky. He's getting grooved in on. He, he you enter Kroger, you see this display. You not everybody would get in on it, but lots some people would be terrified. Some people would leave. Some people would think it was staged. Not this guy. He's just getting funky. But out in the parking lot, it's a funky lot. Oh, and now real real life apples that are exploding. They've exploded, and now there's real-life hand with real-life lemon that you could have gotten at low price. Oh, look at that. Guess what that is? Salad mix, maybe. Maybe that's the salad thing? He's just, he's shaking it just like the, 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 the lady with the apple-bottom jeans in the song, and now the tongs are picking it up for that delicious salad mix of unidentifiable things. He knows it. He knows it. He's getting down. Now he has a clip art for Kroger on his phone, the Kroger logo. He just he just loves singing "Shorty Get Low" while using clip art. Gotta love this guy. He just he is unapologetic. He knows who he is. He knows what he likes. This guy is just he is not afraid to be himself. Look at him just sink into the ground as he drowns off screen. There he goes. He he just has a hand reaching up from the void underneath. Uh, trying to grab hold, but rather than grab hold of anything, he instead is just showing you his clip art of Kroger, because he this this man loves wearing socks and Crocs, he loves the, sh the song uh, Apple Bottom Jeans, and he loves clip art. Those are the three things that this man loves. But yeah, that's the deliciousness that is the Kroger ad, and as well as butts. Butts are involved in, 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 the, in the song. Kroger is advertising butts. Rump Roast. Uh, that was what the th things on the side were. Actually, if you look on the side here, uh, the r the rump roast over where is it here? Yeah, there we go. Th those three little rump roasts on the left. Yeah. Uh, first off, there are bones in the butt. Obviously, that that's what the that's the butt bone. You what you don't know? There is. Um, the pelvis. See, you thought I was making it up, but th that's that's your butt bone. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the rump roast. Those are the three little pigs that were uh, their butts. That that's the that's the the the, the hams that have been uh, slapped. That uh, Kroger Kroger slapped them and turned them into hams. Uh, you punch a pig in Minecraft and it becomes a pork chop. If you slap a pig in Kroger, it becomes a rump roast. That's how that works. You you get a different cut of meat in Minecraft if you do a variety of different uh, death by hand techniques. But the only thing you can do in Minecraft is punch. Um, or stab stuff with a sword, but sword stuff all and uh, it it only depends on if you kill things with your bare hands. Honestly, that's that's what determines what kind of cut of meat that you get from an animal when you kill it. Is just did you slap it? Did you punch it? Did you give it a noogie to death? Uh, no, giving a noogie to death is how you get a sirloin steak. Uh, that's why it's so expensive because it it takes a really long time to noogie someone to death. And uh, there you go. That's it. And then there's Tulip, that's her name, from Infinity Train. She's just on the right there. That this, this is actually a car in the Infinity Train. That's how they do commercial breaks in Infinity Train, by the way. She goes into an ad and there's just a Kroger. And this is just, this is just a whole... This is part of the Infinity Train lore. That's she... <laughs> This is this is just this is just something that Tulip has to has to overcome. Crocs and Socks Man uh, doing his thing. Look look at him. Look at that majestic thing. Look look at this beautiful image. You just have that framed on a wall. Perfect. Just like what he does. So the the way that we should celebrate this Kroger ad is the way that this man celebrates his clip art collection by dancing in a Kroger's. Please don't actually dance in a Kroger's. I was just joking. Don't actually do that. That would be rather that would be very obnoxious. They're into it in this commercial. Um that's because this is a fictional universe. Do not actually do that. Please don't don't be obnoxious. Keep other people in mind. I don't care if it's for the meme. Just don't be obnoxious. Please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good. I'm proud of you. Proud of you for, for, for not doing it. That, that's really good. So that is the um, the analysis of the Kroger ad. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. My, my analysis, uh, my reaction and analysis. Who knows what other commercials I will review in the future. I will review commercials in the future. There will be more. Uh, they may not be the ones that are immediately popular. They will most likely be things that are not current memes. But I will, I will do more. You will get more from me. I am not done with taking an exorbitant amount of time to uh, describe every nook and cranny of these these commercials. 
Um, also, why are there five exact clones of meat thing in the background? What is that? What are those things? Unidentifiable meat lumps. With two little dots? They look almost like they're deflated... You know in Mario Galaxy, when those little, um... Ice things you or those no the fire the fire ones when you spin and the fire ones lose their fire abilities and they just become the little rocks well it looks like that but they're just selling it in the meat counter behind the sneeze guard or whatever that is it's that's just what it looks like they're selling Mario um, Galaxy creatures maybe just maybe this is actually part of the um. No, no. This isn't part of the Grubhub dimension. This isn't part of the cinematic universe. This is part of the Infinity Train universe, which is a separate universe to the Grubhub dimension. Uh, very, very important to make that distinction. Uh, anyway, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed my review of Infinity Train, a masterpiece of a show. Uh, this, this is this is part of why it's a masterpiece of a show. Um, please watch Infinity Train. It is infinitely better than my show. And take care of yourselves, because I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington, signing off. Bye!